white wine combined with vanilla. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a look at the Glamorangie Nectar Door. 12 years old, 46% ABV, unchill filtered and well, uh, part of the extra matured range of Glamorangie, which consists of the La Santa, the Quinta Ruben and this Nectar Door and this one is the most impor uh, important, no, the most expensive uh, bottle of this range. Uh, they started around 40 and uh, increased the price now up to more than 50, going up to 60. And uh, unfortunately, this is the uh, former packaging of the Nectar Door, which looks quite familiar if you know the Quinta Ruben and the La Santa package. And this over there is the new package uh, where they have this uh, extreme uh, card box with his uh, signet, uh, uh, the logo of Glamorangie, the new logo of Glamorangie, uh, and showing the inside presentation. Uh, the bottle has a, a label more, so this label is divided into two, so it's more expensive in the production. Uh, but the content uh, remains the same, but I think uh, this will be the, the beginning uh, of a price increase of the Nectar Door. Mm. Um, mm. I hit the frame, it hasn't been horizontally. Um, this whiskey the is finished in Sauterne wine casks. Sauterne is a region in the French uh, Bordeaux and uh, there they produce a white wine, a dessert wine and uh, that one is very very sweet and the sweetness results from uh, the production of the wine. The grapes are harvested and then they are spread uh, to let evaporate uh, the water from the grapes and uh, the higher sugar content of those grapes result in a well in a residual sugar in the wine which can't be uh, fermented by the yeast because the yeast kills itself uh, at a 14 percent ABV. So there's residual sugar in it and this results in a sweet wine. And this sweet wine well uh, gives part of its sweetness to this uh, finished or secondly matured whiskey from Glen Morangy. Uh, a journey of passion. Ah, the Glenmorangie Nectar Door, golden nectar, or is the Gallic word for gold. It derives its lemony, honey, silkiness, and sumptuous finish from the rare Sauterne Barrique sourced from the most renowned French vineyards that are selected for extra maturation. The most renowned French vineyards. Hmm, where might those casks come from? Well, <laughs> Jacques Dicam. Why Jacques Dicam? Because the mother company of Glamorangy, the Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy, uh, they also are in possession of the Jacques Dicam Chateau in Bordeaux. So the assumption is there that those casts come from Jacques Dicam, but uh, there might be not enough casks available, but this is the most expensive uh, whiskey from the extra matured range. Probably the casks are sufficient. No idea. Um, <laughs> here in the inside, uh, tasty, official tasting notes. Uh, lime and orange, rind, sultanas and dates give a rich fruity flavor laced with tantalizing spices of coconut and nutmeg. Taste ginger, nutmeg and toasted almonds bring a deep warming taste interwoven with a syrupy lemon meringue. Meringue. Never heard that. And honeycomb middle. Mm, wonderful. Finish long and lustrously sweet finish with lemon zest, white chocolate, vanilla and traces of ginger and nutmeg. 
color honey gold. This one is uncolored and unchill filtered. There's some you no know, had that. So closer look. Nectar Dora takes its name from ore, which means gold in Gaelic, perfectly describing this sumptuous expression of Glenmorangie. Yeah. This is a very, very thin plastic and it's no, not giving a, a value. <laughs> This is special, so you can't uh, just put another uh, capsule on top of this and, and refill it and sell it as a fake. Um, this is genuine. You can't fake it. Very good. But it's too thin for me. Okay. <sighs> White wine combined with vanilla. Then the Glenmorangie citrus undertone. And the vanilla is getting stronger and stronger. Smooth, mellow, harmonic. So this is a very elegant, balanced, smooth starting aroma. Mm -hmm. Lime and orange peel. Coming sweeter, and then, then nutmeg, coconut, yeah, little, little spicy, and those dates. No, I don't find them. A little bit of almond. I had that in in other damn oranges as well, and. In the very, very end, some honey, as they said. In the very end, a little drier now. Oh, ha! Demanding more. Sweet and oily mouthfeel. There is a enough power for adding a few drops of water. A little ginger coming up, spiciness in the aftertaste, and spiciness in the aftertaste always helps you to to enrich and uh, to get a longer aftertaste. So this is wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is really a nectar door and this sweet French white wine combines wonderfully with this smooth and silky and orangey single malt. Yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come. No Glen Morangy tomorrow. No, no. Um, Feel free to share your thoughts and your comments about this whiskey in our whiskey database and please ask questions in our forum or in our
Vlog und Whisky.com.